Audi A5 review. Our rating. 4 star. The Audi A5 rivals the BMW 4 Series and Mercedes C-Class Coupe, offering a range of efficient engines and a quality interior. 4. Classy cabin, comfortable, great tech. Against. Dull, not great to drive, expensive. With the all-new A5, Audi has stuck to what it knows and developed a refined and luxurious coupe, if not one that is overly exciting. That lack of drama is also reflected in its design, which can look a little reserved compared to the svelte, purposeful Mercedes C-Class Coupe. However, a fabulous cabin crammed with technology, a range of efficient engines and a wealth of standard kit makes the A5 a competent all-round coupe. Our choice. Audi A5 2.0 TDI 190S line. Audi's evolutionary approach to design means you'd be excused for blinking and missing the changes in the transformation from the previous generation A5 to this all-new coupe. As before, the new model is a rival to the likes of the BMW 4 Series, Mercedes C-Class Coupe and Lexus RC. However, this Audi A5 is genuinely is all-new, because the chassis has been adapted from the clever new MLB of O mechanicals that underpin the A4. That means the A5 adopts a whole host of new and efficient engines, with two petrol and three diesel options for buyers to choose from. Even the least powerful 2.0-liter diesel engine in the range develops 187 bhp, while the punchiest 3.0-liter V6 diesel produces 283 bhp. The flagship S5 coupe, meanwhile, uses a new 3.0-liter V6 turbo, which develops 349 bhp. Across the range the new Audi A5 is around 17% or more powerful and 22% or more economical than the previous generation model. What also helps with the boost in economy is the 60 kilograms of weight the A5 has shed. More liberal use of lightweight materials such as aluminum has allowed Audi to make the savings. Inside, the cabin has been completely redesigned over the old model. Lashings of metal, leather, and gloss black plastic make the A5 feel premium and plush behind the wheel. Audi's MMI infotainment system remains an intuitive as ever but Apple CarPlay is now available for the first time, which mimics your iPhone's interface. Audi's fantastic virtual cockpit which replaces the analog dials behind the steering wheel, is a 250 pounds option but it makes the cabin feel very advanced and is something no rival offers. The A5 is also more practical with a 465-liter boot and decent headspace despite the sloping roofline there is only space for two in the back, though. At least Audi's endless model range means that if you still want the sleek coupe body but need more passenger space, the A5 Sportback 5-door version will accommodate your needs. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4.1 Star Smooth and comfortable but lacks the excitement you get from a BMW 4 Series. Despite its sporty coupe looks the Audi A5 is very civilized and refined to drive. It's based on the same chassis as the A4 Saloon and comes with a range of different suspension options, which alter the way it drives. The 187bhp 2.0 liter diesel will be the big seller and comes paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard. A 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox is an option or standard, depending on trim level and this amplifies the A5S clam and relaxed nature. Changes from the manual gearbox are a little bit notchy. Fitted with adaptive dampers, a 600 pounds option, and in comfort mode, the A5 glides effortlessly over most surfaces. Slightly rutted tarmac does cause it to fidget around, and flicking though the drive select modes up to the dynamic setting does make the ride noticeably firmer without really giving you anything back in terms of extra handling precision. The steering is largely to blame for this as it's light and accurate but doesn't have a lot of feel. A BMW 4 Series is a far more engaging car to drive quickly. Having said that the A5 is no slouch fitted with the 282bhp 3.0 liter V6 diesel and quattro all-wheel drive is has impressive mid-range shove meaning it feels almost as fast as the flagship S5. Engines. 
Two TFC petrol and three TDI diesel engines are available in the A5 coupe power ranges from 187 bhp to 282 bhp. Across the range the new A5 is 17% or more powerful than the previous model but also 22% or more efficient. The range kicks off with the 187 bhp 2.0 liter diesel, capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds. Adding quattro all-wheel drive reduces that to 7.2 seconds but fuel economy does suffer. The other two diesel options are a 215 bhp and 282 bhp versions of the 3.0 liter V6. The former can cover 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds, while the latter comes with quattro all-wheel drive as standard. At the top of the range sits the S5 coupe, powered by a new turbocharged 349bhp 3.0 liter V6, Audi claims it can hit 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. The only other petrol option is a 2.0 liter 4 cylinder, developing either 187bhp or 248bhp. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 3.9 star. Economical on paper but almost 7.0 mpg is tough to match in the real world. A high number of Audi A5 coupes will be bought as company cars, especially the 187 bhp 2.0 liter diesel model. Audi claims that model can return up to 68.9 mpg and emits 107 g slash km of CO2. That's better than an equivalent BMW 4 Series 420D, while the Mercedes C-Class Coupe returns an identical figure. Those figures mean a higher rate earner running one as a company car will pay over £3,300 in tax annually. On test we couldn't quite match Audi's lofty fuel economy claims, returning only 40.9 mpg that means you'll be paying an average of £1,425 per year on fuel. The most expensive model to run in the range is the S5. Audi claims its 3.0-liter V6 petrol engine will return up to 38.7 mpg, but a BMW 440i will return slightly more on the combined cycle at 41.5 mpg. If the ongoing VW diesel emissions scandal has encouraged you to think that your next car should be a petrol model, the more sensible 248bhp 2.0-liter turbo returns 47.9 mpg and emits 136g slash km of CO2. However, the higher levels of fuel consumption do mean it will be more costly to run as a company car than the 2.0-liter diesel. Insurance Groups The Audi A5 starts at Group 26 for the entry-level 2.0 TDI Ultra in SE trim, while an equivalent S-Line model sits in Group 29. The range rises to Group 40 for the 248BHP 2.0 TFC S-Line Quattro S-Tronic, while the 349BHP S5 sits in Group 42. By comparison, the BMW 4 Series ranges from Group 24 for the 418D SE to Group 42 for the 435D Strive Luxury and M Sport. Depreciation it's too early to get accurate depreciation figures on the new generation Audi A5 but we would expect this desirable coupe to hold onto its value in reasonably robust fashion, mirroring the previous generation car. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.3 Star The A5 is not all that exciting from the outside, but a state-of-the-art cabin makes up for it. The new Audi A5 isn't a radical departure from the old model in terms of styling. The sloping roofline gives it some visual impact but the lines and overall shape of the coupe are quite conservative. The body is a little longer but also narrower than before and the subtly embossed bonnet helps to differentiate it further from its A4 saloon sibling. Optional LED headlights also bring a new lighting signature and have been developed to avoid dazzling other road users when they're driving towards you. The A5 may not be the most visually appealing from the outside but the cabin is beautifully executed. The quality of plastics used inside the Audi is impressive and goes some way to justifying its hefty price. As standard every A5 comes fitted with xenon headlamps, cruise control, 17-inch alloy wheels, 3-zone climate control, LED daytime running lights, Bluetooth connectivity, and Audi's MMI infotainment system.
The S5 Coupe is marked out by its 23mm reduction in ride height, unique front grille, 19-inch alloy wheels, rear diffuser, and dual exhausts. Other optional equipment available across both models includes a Bang & Olufsen 3 sound system, head-up display, adaptive dampers, wireless phone charging and carbon effect inlays. SAT NAV, stereo and infotainment. With a lot of A5 coupes destined to spend a lot of time on the motorway as company cars, features like the 250 pounds virtual cockpit come into their own. The 12.3 inch widescreen display shows the SAT NAV display straight in front of you, making it easier to follow the route guidance, while you can also change the radio station and look at the car's efficiency data through the different menus. It's a high feature that fits well with the A5S well-crafted cabin. Build quality is brilliant throughout, with a simple but smart layout to the center console adding to the premium feel. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 3.8 star. Despite the coupe body, the A5 is still reasonably practical with the biggest boot in its class. One of the biggest sacrifices you have to make when opting for a coupe over a saloon is a lack of practicality. Having only two doors can make access to the rear slightly awkward for taller adults and rather than three rear seats, you'll only find two. Once back there you will notice that there is more head and legroom than you'd initially think. Another plus is that the boot is only 15 liters down on the A4 saloon at 465 liters. That's also 65 liters more than you get in a Mercedes C-Class Coupe. Size Against the tape measure the A5 comes in at 4,673 mm long, 1,846 wide and 1,371 mm tall. That makes it longer than a BMW 4 Series but a little shorter than the Mercedes C-Class Coupe. It's not as tall as either of its closest rivals but it is the widest, which means more shoulder room for rear passengers. Legroom A wheelbase of 2,764 mm should mean there isn't as much space inside as in the BMW or Mercedes, as both of those models have a longer wheelbase. However, because the roof loan on the Audi isn't as steeply raked as those of its rivals, there is more headroom. Legroom is very similar on all models, however. Boot space. The new A5 has 10 liters of extra boot space over the model it replaces, though, at 465 liters that's still 10 liters less than the A4 saloon on which it's based. Happily, the boot is still larger than the 440 liter luggage area in the BMW and 400 liters in the Mercedes. The A5 also comes with a 40 hours 20 minutes and 40 seconds split rear bench. Reliability and safety. 4.2 star. Top marks from Euro NCAP and a raft of kit makes it a safe family car. Audi might have a good reputation globally but Auto Express readers voted the German brand in 21st place, out of 32, in the 2016 Driver Power Owner Satisfaction Survey. Worryingly, that's 8 places lower than it finished in 2015. Biggest gripes with buyers centered around reliability where it finished 23rd. However, build quality was rated very highly in 6th position. There should be little to worry about in terms of safety, too. Euro NCAP scored both the A4 Saloon and A5 Coupe 5 stars out of 5 in its crash tests. It awarded the A589 per Center for Adult Occupant Protection too. Standard safety kit across the A5 range includes autonomous braking, stability control, a host of airbags and ISO fix child seat mounts. You can add Audi's driving assistance pack for £1,250, which includes blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning. Warranty Like every Audi, the A5 comes with a 3-year-60,000 mile warranty. That's pretty much industry standard but Mercedes and BMW both offer an unlimited mileage 3-year warranty. Servicing Your car should be serviced every year but the cost is reflected by the size of the engine. 
If you have a model that is powered by either a 2.0 liter petrol or diesel an interim service will cost you 164 pounds, while a major service is 319 pounds. For models that have an engine larger than 2.0 liters, Audi will charge 199 pounds and 399 pounds for the services respectively.